From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. The rain should be rolling in by the afternoon. Your forecast is coming up. Good morning, I'm Jasmine Stiles, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. Happening today, former First Lady Barbara Bush will be laid to rest. More than 1,500 people will attend the church service out in Houston, Texas. After the service, Mrs. Bush will be taken to the George H.W. Bush Library Center. She'll be buried next to her daughter Robin, who died of leukemia when she was just three years old. And right now, Hillsborough County deputies need your help. They're looking for a woman who harassed a bus driver and her special needs student passengers. This happened on April 12th out in West Chase. Deputies say the woman did about $250 worth of damage when she kicked in the door. She was driving a dark colored Nissan Altima and faces criminal mischief charges. And we're taking action for you this morning, protecting you from identity fraud. Right now, our annual Operation Shredding event is underway. You can head down to the Westfield Citrus Park Mall to get rid of up to five boxes of sensitive documents and electronics. Just bring them to the mall anytime before one this afternoon. And if you live or work in Tampa, you may notice a slightly different taste and odor to the city's tap water. For the next week and a half, Tampa's water department is temporarily changing from chloramine to chlorine disinfection. Anyone with special health concerns or aquariums may need to take precautions. The treatment lasts until the end of the month. And if you have romaine lettuce in your fridge right now, you need to throw it out. The CDC says based on new information, they're expanding its E. coli warning to include all types of romaine lettuce from the Yuma, Arizona area. To read the full report on this recall, you can head on over to abcactionnews.com slash recall. Now let's get to meteorologist Shay Ryan with a look at your forecast. Yeah, take a look at uh, this forecast this morning. We've got quite a bit of cloud cover. If you looked out the window at all today or if you stepped out to walk the dog or so forth, things are looking uh, pretty cloudy and we will see some sunshine as we move through the day. That'll help to bring our temps up to the low to mid 80s and then we are going to see those showers and storms tapering off just uh, shortly after sunset, but we will get some heavier downpours from time to time and that rain will be moving offshore into the Gulf after sunset. We will see a return to more showers tomorrow and even higher coverage tomorrow afternoon. But again, anytime after noon today, we will at least have a chance for some showers hours or an isolated storm. Jasmine. Thanks, Shay. Definitely want to find your umbrella, your rain boots, all that jazz. So you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.